And this is shading the sphere. If you please do me a favor when you get this worksheet, um, put your name and code on it. On Power Learning, there should be copies or photos of spheres that are shaded or pictures of spheres that are in light and dark so that you have options to look at. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a small sample of each uh, type of technique here, and then I'm going to shade the sphere according to that technique. All right, so in case you don't remember, hatching is lines. And remember, with pencil, the darker you want them, you can either do more of the type of lines and less pressure and or less lines. So more space in between and with less pressure and then less pre less space, excuse me, in between and stronger pressure when you want to make it darker. So that's hatching. Cross hatching is where you hatch and then you do some kind of crisscrossing to the hatching to make it darker. And again, the same idea of hatching applies. Um, you can do more space and or lighter pressure to make an area look lighter. Scumble is the idea of going back and forth. And because I know I am most likely going to do blending with my scumble, I'm not too anxious about the fact that it's kind of messy and in different directions or back and forth and then uh, in, in uneven layers because I know I'm gonna go back and I'm going to blend that most likely, All right? Circular, circularism, excuse me, is when you're going in small little circles and you can either show the texture of the circles, so I'm gonna go to this side and kind of show the texture of the circles. It could also be scribble. And the more I do, the darker it will go, and I can also increase the pressure and do more to make it darker or lighter. Circularism can also be when you just kind of go in really small circles, nice and neatly, kind of taking your time, it's similar to scumble, except that I want it to be smooth enough that if I wanted to ignore it and not do any blending, I could, or I could also choose to blend it. This is just usually for me a little slower, a little more control um, because I want a neater technique to it versus scumble. Right. And then again, circularism, no blending would be, I'm not going to use a blending tool or Q-tip or um, any kind of uh, tissue or even the tip of my finger to do blending. Contour line shading just means that I'm gonna follow the curve and you will most likely see me following the curve no matter what technique I'm doing, um, but you are gonna kind of see the directional line on this sphere kind of going over all of the sections um, to continue to re-emphasize that 3D um, appearance of the ball or sphere. So first I'd like you to practice each technique. Okay, a little bit. Um, circularism, no blending would be, I'm not gonna blend with it, and I'll go to contour line shading when I get to this last example. Um, then what I want you to do is I want you to observe the ball or sphere in front of you. I'm, I'm gonna do mine from a picture that's off camera. And I want you to um, shade in those techniques. You don't have to worry about the shade, the shadow, excuse me, unless you want to, um, because I just really want you to practice trying to make this circle look like a 3D sphere. So that's the goal of this project at, or exercise. Okay, and again, you're using all the techniques, so this might take you um, some time. And after this point, I am most likely going to be speeding up the process um, just so I can make sure that I get it done, but um, we will see how long it takes. I will let you know the complete time at the end. In fact, I will set a timer for me, so that way I can keep track. All right, good luck.